here. They've already got two. That means they are counting a fall. And he has got a very tricky exercise. Remember a little earlier, Orzika took a skill out of his routine. He does the exact same combination. Happens right here, right into one and a half twist. No. Oh, oh. Once again, saw it right from the beginning. Body just moving too far away from that bar. This is disastrous for this Romanian team. Doesn't get his feet over his head high enough and his body travels too far away from the bar. Five tenths of a point. Another major break for Team Romania. That was one of the most dreaded sounds in gymnastics, that bar vibrating after the fall. And you know, I know from experience what that feels like. It is a terrible sound. Another release. Hangs on to that, but will incur some deductions as well. This is bad news for Romania. Dismount here. Big step, not only back, but off to the side. That's another two tenths. It's like they just lost that momentum after such a great vaulting event. P-bars didn't go as well as planned, and now high bar, disastrous. Three falls in a row. Come on, Jay. Go, man. Yeah, the U.S. team at once looked like they were going to finish a badly beaten third. So now they're right in the middle of it. Let's go, Jay. Here's Jay Thornton on parallel bars. Once again, this is not a high-scoring event with the new rules. Skills like that, though, that don't look that difficult, get him a tenth of a point, and if you do them in combination, get you another tenth. I think if you're going to compare the U.S. routines with the Chinese, let's say, who are the best in the world on this apparatus, there's a fluidness to the Chinese routines. They seem to get through it with such ease. And skills like right there, that little bit of a break, a small pause, it just sort of breaks up the momentum of the routine. Hop on the landing there. That would cost a tenth of a point. But at this point in time, Team USA is at least hitting their routines where Romania and China, they're falling all over the place. Come on, one more. Oh. Come on, arms are going to Yeah. Jay didn't look that happy with his performance, and now John Roethlisberger will take the parallel bars. seen John struggle on this event at times. This is where he spends the most time during a workout is on parallel bars. Difficult combination for him coming up right here. Oh. Oh. And he just couldn't hang on to that one. Able to at least salvage it and not have a major fall, but going to be at least two to three tenths deduction. Struggling once again on the form of a handstand, a very simple move. Well, not as disastrous as we've seen from some of the other competitors in this rotation, but certainly not what Team USA wanted right now. And Roethlisberger obviously upset. He is just way too far back on that skill. Doesn't have enough power to complete the entire hop pirouette. But it's remarkable that he gets right back on track almost instantly. Roethlisberger, 8.7 his score. Jay Thornton had an 8.65. So the U.S. stalling a little bit in its comeback. As earlier, Lee Bo of China, 8.7 on his floor exercise. And now for the floor exercise, Zhang Li Wei. They need a big performance. Well, they certainly do. And he actually is capable of doing it. That was great. Now, this is exactly what they need to do. We've seen a number of the Chinese athletes take that pass out of their routine. 
and because of that, lose those bonus points and then also gain some deductions on top of it. All because they want to play it safe. They just don't know what else oh, to do. This is bad right here, really bad. <laughs> Once again, I, I almost can't even believe it. That is a required element that you need on a floor exercise routine that is a mandatory four-tenth deduction because he did not hold his plan. I, I can't believe it. Unbelievable, unbelievable. The dismount here, but it almost doesn't even matter. Full twisting double somersault. He's such a tremendous athlete. He can hold that thing in his sleep. If that was me walking off the floor, Tom, I'd be walking the other way, away from my teammates, away from my coach. I don't know. And they won't even make eye contact with him, will they? They know that the Chinese team is struggling. They had their problems on the floor. The Romanians fell off the bar. The U.S. floundered on P-bars. We move to the final rotation. Who wants it? We've reached the final rotation in the international team gymnastics competition. At one time, the U.S. squad was badly in third place, trailing by almost four and a half points. But they have come back to get right in the middle of things. The Romanian team, they had a solid lead at one point. They've fallen on hard times, and ditto for the Chinese. This is a competition that will come down to this final rotation. And for young Jason Gatson of the United States, uh, what an experience this has been, his first international competition, and he's been up to the challenge. I'll tell you, Tom, this has been an impressive debut for this youngster. He has certainly done exactly what he's been capable of doing. The, the coaches just said, hey, just do your job, totally unfazed by who's out there. So this has been an amazing competition for him. One rotation to go, the Romanians in first place, China second, U.S. third, but still the title up for grabs. And Jason will not have a major release in this exercise, but he still has to let go of the bar. And that's very, very risky. As Elfie said, tremendous amount of pressure. He'll get most of his bonus, though, right from this first sequence right here. Three skills in a row. New coat of point values them very highly. Here comes that release. No problem. That's uh, the Romanians' downfall, that release. We saw several of them fall. But Jason's didn't appear to be quite as difficult. Well, certainly nowhere near as difficult as some of the releases we've seen. But nowadays, those releases are only a very small factor of a high bar score. That's one of the first stuck landings we've seen in this competition. Big guy. He's been competing like a veteran. John Roethlisberger even called him big guy. The Chinese move to the pommel horse for their final rotation. Here's Chung Leung. And this should be a great event for the Chinese team. They are the best in the world on pommel horse as a group. Swing so un absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I saw this guy all week long. He is so good on pommel horse. He fell off before he even got started. If we could just show you the tapes of their practice sessions, you could see exactly why they should win these competitions. But unfortunately, they don't put it together when it counts. Well, look, I mean, he's having absolutely no problem right now. It's beautiful gymnastics. If you could erase the first six seconds of his routine, this would be a great exercise. But you fall off the horse, it's five-tenths of a point automatically. And once again, a familiar scenario from the Chinese, unrealized potential. And you know, Tom, sometimes I'd like to see him get a little more mad. Gets an 8.9 on the...